It's early 2023, and already there's a lot happening. Um, most recently, we've had a lot of security breaches happening. The first big one of the year was LastPass. It actually happened, I think, technically was the end of last year. But either way, it's recent. And then there have been some more breaches uh, with Slack and also uh, Circle IC, something like that. I forget the exact name. In any case, and then it's funny because in searching around for information on that, I uncovered the fact just in my Google searches that Circle.so, you know, the community network, had a breach last year. So there's a lot of security breaches. These things are going to happen. Uh, we, we, we have to expect by now that any service that you might be using for any purpose, no matter how secure you think it needs to be, it's hackable. Somebody somewhere is going to hack it eventually. The question arises, however, as to how the company handles it, right? And some of these recent breaches... The news around them has uh, been centered around the fact that these companies have not handled it very well. They have not been very forthcoming. They have tried to deprecate the situation. They have tried to make it sound like it wasn't that bad until they were forced to come out and admit how bad it actually was. So this leaves us with the question, which funny enough, um, in terms of password managers, I had been doing some research late last year in preparation for launching my Guide to the Galaxy uh, platform. And so I started asking around and, you know, soliciting people's feedback. Which ones do you use? In 97 and up, we have uh, a lot of discussions around these password managers. And so I have a channel here for LastPass specifically. We also have a general cybersecurity channel. And obviously, you can see on my screen, we've had quite a bit of discussion recently around what to do regarding LastPass. Should we stick it out? Should we leave and use something else? And, and here's what it comes down to. Let's just say, as I mentioned to one of the members of my 97 and up community on the subject, let's say that you have confidence that as a company, LastPass is going to, they're going to do what they have to do. They need to, to stay in business. They're going to fix whatever security issues. They're going to do their best to make it that much more difficult for another breach to happen. Let's say you believe that's true. Then the question becomes still, you know, does that mean you should stay with LastPass? Because here's the next question you have to consider is when you go to your client and let's let's say I'm talking to accountants who are managing, among other things, very sensitive password information for their clients. A lot of times we need your logins to access your bank accounts and, and payroll accounts and other areas with very sensitive information. So if I go to you as my client and say to you, hey, yeah, I'm, I've, I use LastPass to store your information in light of everything that's happened, are you as a client going to feel that I'm doing the utmost to protect you? My guess is probably not. And so regardless of how you might feel about whether or not LastPass is going to handle this better going forward, there's still the question of optics. And, and I don't mean optics in the superficial sense. I mean in terms of the fact that, you know, when I have a client, when somebody hires me to handle all their accounting matters, and among that is going to be the protection of secure information, you know, a client, as Jay Abraham defines it, is somebody who's under my protection. And so am I protecting you, my client, as best as I can by continuing to use LastPass? Personally, I think the answer is no. I think that I would expect that my clients would not feel safe knowing that I was using LastPass to protect their information at this point, right? So funny enough, as I mentioned, I was doing some research a while back on password managers. So let's take a look at my screen and I'll show you which ones I was looking at. Uh, so of course I had LastPass up here. Then there's one password, Dashling, which I've been playing with sort of simultaneously uh, alongside LastPass uh, since before all this happened, just because I just wanted to see the difference, right? Then there's Keeper Security, which is interesting. It brings up what I want to share with you, what really prompted this video, which was uh, one of the questions that was asked in my Ask Nerd form. Uh, so we're going to talk about Keeper Security. And then we have Practice Protect, which I have not looked at, but lots of people in the accounting industry that I've seen in Facebook groups, as well as I think some people in 97up have mentioned that they use and love Practice Protect. A few people have mentioned RoboForm, and I feel like maybe one or two people mentioned this one, Safe and Cloud. So I don't know anything about that. I haven't had a chance to look at it myself, but... Uh, it, whatever it was, whether it was the, it may not have been the number of people recommending it like some of these others, but it was probably more who recommended it where I felt confident putting it up here as a viable option just based on the source, right? So, 1Password. Uh, 
actually, as of this recording, just had my first look at 1Password today, and it looks really good. It looks very, very good. You know, some of the things that I'm looking for is in terms of how to organize the information, right? So especially if I'm using this to, you know, to keep track of passwords for my clients, I want to be able to organize my clients' passwords all in one place so it's easy to distinguish which passwords go with which client. Obviously, many clients may have uh, passwords for the same bank accounts, for example. So I might have three different clients, each, who bank, each of whom bank at, let's say, Bank of America or Wells Fargo. So I need to clearly, be, I need to make sure it's easy to distinguish the Wells Fargo logins for one client versus another, right? Ideally, I would love to see something like, like what LastPass had was they gave you the ability to create folders and subfolders so you can better organize your stuff. But the browsing structure in terms of how to access and browse and manage those folders was horrible. It was just one long screen, and when you get to, to folders whose names fall to the bottom of the alphabet, there's no way to get to them quickly. You just have to scroll the whole thing, right? Or you use the search, right? So the search worked well. But it was always, like, sort of very confusing to me. It seems like it should be easy, and I'm no coder, but I've seen enough other applications that do this kind of thing. It seems like it should be easy to give us something in the way of navigation on the left where we can see all the folders and subfolders and quickly browse to something and click on it to get easy access to it and manage it for that matter, right? There doesn't seem to be a way, at least not that I've seen, uh, and I haven't checked in a while, but where I can easily like delete a folder in LastPass. So that's what we're looking for. One password lets you create these vaults and it also lets you create groups. So it's cool because I can create a group of people and then I can add certain vaults to that group. So I might have a team of people that work on a particular client. So I create a vault for the client. I create the group based on the people who work on that client. And then I stick that vault in that group, right? And that way, if within that group of people, somebody goes away, I just remove them for the, from the group and it's secure. They no longer can get access to those passwords, right? And then, of course, anytime something like that happens, just as a matter of best practice, probably want to change the passwords, right? Uh, so one password looks really good. Dashlane, as I said, I've been playing with. It, it does work really well. It has all the same kind of features where I can easily share passwords with people. And I, I love that you can choose whether or not they can actually see the password, right? So there's two ways to share. One just lets them, as long as they have their own account with the service, LastPass does a great job of this, um, where I can delegate access to you without you ever being able to see what the password is. You just use LastPass to actually log into the service. Okay, Dashlane uh, does have sharing capabilities. I haven't gone deep enough yet to see if when I share it with somebody, I, I don't recall seeing anything that looked like an option to hide the password from the person. So Dashlane may be sort of lacking that feature, or I may have just missed it at this point. Um, so that's one password. That's Dashlane. I'm going to skip Keeper Security for a second. Practice Protect, like I said, I've never seen it myself. Uh, RoboForm, never seen it myself, but lots of people, both of those two applications, I've seen lots of people in the accounting industry say that they use and love those tools. And then Safe and Cloud, as I mentioned, um, I, I don't recall even who it was that shared it with me, but I just know myself. The fact that I put it here means somebody, at least one person, maybe a few people whose opinions I sort of respect and value and trust, um, you know, shared with me that Safe and Cloud was a, uh, a good option for accountants to use to manage passwords for their clients. And I lay that context out to make it very clear how much more important, let's say, than maybe other cases, the security of this actually becomes, right? It's one thing what I do to protect my own stuff, but when I'm responsible for somebody else's, I need to go the extra like 10 miles to um, to make sure their stuff is safe. Now let's talk about Keeper Security. So Keeper Security, this is really where the question came up on my Ask Nerd form, which by the way, if you're in my Guide to the Galaxy here, under Community, Guide to the Galaxy, you'll see Ask Nerd. You can click on here and you can ask a question. And as it explains here, the uh, there's a good chance I'm going to do a video on your question when you ask it here. So if you happen to be here and for any reason you don't want your question featured in a video, make sure you put that here in the comments. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that it's okay to do that, okay? So now we get to Martha's question. And she says, no question at the moment, but and this is because she had seen that I was asking around about password uh, stuff. And by the way, you can see this was from four months ago. So this is well before the breach happened. I was already just kind of curious looking around, wanted to be able to put a resource in my guide to the galaxy here that allowed you as my audience and friends and family to, uh, to be able to kind of learn about each of the different uh, options 
and then kind of decide for yourself which one is best for you because it's never one size fits all with these things. So she says, no question at the moment, but I wanted to throw Keeper, and she means Keeper Security. Let me just clarify that because this often gets confused with Keeper, the project management app that my good friend Ben Stein has created with his co-founder. Um, so this is a very different application, and a lot of times I've gotten to the Keeper Security website by accident, meaning to go to Keeper, the project management app. So just I want to stress really clearly um, that these are two very similarly named but very different applications. So she says she wants to throw Keeper Security in the ring as a password manager. She says, I've used it for almost 10 years now without issue. It's affordable, five seats for $60 a year on the family plan. It's a top pick by PC Mag, but I never see it mentioned. I love it so much better than LastPass. Can't wait to see your all your recommendations in the guide to the galaxy. And of course, by the time you're watching this, you're noticing that I'm blurring out you know, some of her personal information like her email and phone number, right? Um, so that's Martha's question. And that brings us back to today where, you know, a lot's happened even since she asked that question. LastPass, uh, as I shared, in my opinion, probably not a smart thing, especially from the standpoint of being an accountant whose job, among other things, is to protect your client's information. Probably not that smart to stay with LastPass at this point. So let's talk about Keeper Security. And as you can see, I'm using the brain to keep track of a lot of these resources that I'm talking about in the Guide to the Galaxy. In that same sidebar, in my Guide to the Galaxy, you can access the web version of this. It does not work great on your mobile app, by the way. So if you want to access this on your mobile app, use the uh, Ask Nerd or the contact form on my site. Let me know you would like mobile access to the Guide to the Galaxy brain. And I can invite you in. You'll have to install the Brain app on your mobile device, but then it works beautifully if you're willing to install the app and look at it that way. Otherwise, the web version works great on any device with a larger screen, like a tablet and landscape uh, position, or certainly a computer. Um, so you can access this very same thing on the web version using the link that's right there on my website. Now, Keeper Security. Uh, let's take a look at this email exchange I've had with them. So right off the bat, I'm still putting my confidence in them, if only because they come highly recommended, as you just heard from a person whom I trust very much, who I've, I've known Martha for many years. She's been in 97 and up. So um, I went in and took a free trial with Keeper Security. Now, granted, I have to own my part in things. Uh, when I went to set it up, I kind of went quickly and didn't take the time to make sure I kept my password that I created uh, in you know, saved somewhere. Funny enough, you know, like as I'm trying out these other password managers, I'm saving my passwords for them in either LastPass or Dashlane. Also, because I've been testing Dashlane out simultaneously with LastPass, what I've been doing over the last few months is every time I log into something using LastPass, I have the Dashlane extension installed. So Dashlane comes up and says, "Would you like to save this password here?" And I do. So I'm kind of running the two simultaneous. So I go into Keeper, I take the account, and as soon as I access the account after I've set up my free trial, I can't find any sign of the password manager. There's a bunch of other products uh, that their site talks about, and all of those were there. If I go to products, um, I went to enterprise, okay? And so enterprise, somewhere here they're gonna tell me what products are included. All right, so they have secrets management, dark, dark web monitoring, secure file encrypted. So these are advanced capabilities for added protection. Um, just looking at their site, if I go back to products then, I, I want the password manager. And it's funny, now I don't see, there's password manager and here's enterprise. So that's where I went. Under password manager, I went to enterprise. Anyway, I took the free trial and I had access to all the other products except for the password manager. So it was more than a little confusing. I kind of got frustrated, gave up. Like I said, didn't save my password. And hence this email thread started. So Quentin reached out to me, you know, saying, hey, I want to help you get the most out of it, blah, blah, blah. So I wrote back explaining, hey, I signed up for the free trial, but I couldn't get access back to my account. And the pass, the forgot password option uh, is not available because it's a free trial of an enterprise account. First time, many apps I've used many years, first time I've ever not been able to use the uh, password recovery system that seems like it's very standard for any application in existence that was created after the year 2004. 
So I'm um, a little disappointed in that, but I get it because it's a password management system. LastPass has something similar. They do not keep your uh, master password anywhere in their system. In fact, that was the one saving grace for LastPass, that even though these hackers were able to make copies of everyone's vault, they still can't theoretically access those vaults because they would need that master password, and LastPass doesn't keep that anywhere. But these are hackers. They're going to figure out how to probably hack into some of these vaults anyway. So uh, nonetheless, I get the extra security and why they can't necessarily help me with that. Could have made it a little more clear uh, in that dialogue when I went to try and recover my password. Anyway, I also mentioned that I could not figure out where the password manager was. Uh, I said it doesn't look like I have access to password management. That question gets ignored. And their focus is on explaining to me how to restore the account. I had to type yes to confirm. I wrote back a response explaining, you know, a little bit more about it, but then saying, yes, please delete the account and let me know when I can start over. Uh, apparently that wasn't enough. I had to just write a response that just said yes and nothing else. Uh, and then they got back to me shortly within a few minutes confirming that my enterprise trial has been deleted so I can recreate my trial account. So the moral of that story is when you go to sign up for a free trial with Keeper Security, if you do, make extra certain that you make a note of your password. I actually used one of the password generators from, it was either LastPass or Dashlane. So it was probably Dashlane at this point. And I forgot to save it. Normally Dashlane would prompt me and ask me to save it. Uh, but I don't know if it didn't or I ignored the prompt because I was just in a hurry to get in there and play with it and see how it worked. And normally I'm used to being able to rely on being able to simply use a password recovery tool in order to get access. So I'm going to mark Martha's question as now having been answered, even though it wasn't really a question, it was still definitely a comment worth talking about, especially under this heading. So let's go back to your choices, Keeper Security. Uh, I've got you up to date on that one. I have yet to be able to get in there and actually play with it. I am literally, as of the day I'm recording this video, uh, once again going to be able to access it and start playing with it. My guess is I'm going to log in and have the same problem in that there's no password management tool in you know inside and so then I'll have to go back and deal with support on that and try and figure out why I can't see or access the password management tool. Um, so, so far not off to a great start with Keeper Security as far as this goes. So as far as which one I like best so far as an alternative to LastPass, uh, it's between 1Password and Dashlane. Um, Dashlane, I've played with a lot more. 1Password, Erica, who many of you know works with me, uh, started playing around with 1Password and she kind of showed it to me this morning. And as of that look that I had with her, 1Password looks very, very promising. So here's what I would love for you all to do as you're watching this video, uh, especially if you've played with any of these, especially some of the ones that I've said I don't have experience with, but even the ones I have, I would love to get your comments. So please post your comments uh, wherever you're watching this, whether you're watching it directly on YouTube or in my Guide to the Galaxy community blog, or go over into the Discord community because every article I write gets its own channel under the uh, community area. So you can have a discussion with me and others in the community on that specific article and topic. So one way or another, plenty of places you can go to get in on the conversation. Let me know. I would love for you to share your experience with me as far as which of these tools you've used and especially which ones you love. So please, please, please participate in the community and help me make this the most incredible resource for accountants, bookkeepers, and business owners on the internet. As always, I hope you learned something here, had some fun along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you in the galaxy.